Was the night before Christmas when all through the teepee not a creature was stirring, nothing crawly, nothing creepy. The moccasins were hung from the lodge poles with care in hopes that old red shirt soon would be there. The kids were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of choke cherries danced in their heads. And I in my Pendleton and Ma in her skins had just cuddled up cozy against cold winter winds. When out in the camp rose a noise so humongous, I thought a wildcat had sneaked in among us. Up I jumped and ran through the clutter, threw back the flap and made the lodge shudder. The moon and the stars in the night sky were blinking, like the headlight that shines on my 69 Lincoln. When what to my wondering eyes did show but an old wooden sleigh and eight buffalo with a plump little driver who was so well fed I thought for a minute it was flying fry bread. Like thundering clouds these mammoths they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Harjo, now Red Bull, now Chino and Sudo on Tall Chief, on Jim Boy, on White Cloud and Serpohoodle. To the top of the trees, to the top of the bushes, he yelled, haul your fur and move your tushes. Like pine cones caught and tossed by a whirlwind and suspended in air by the magic of medicine, up to the lodge top, the bison they flew with a sleigh full of commodities and the old Indian too. Then in a moment they froze there in space and I felt all the color drain from my face. I turned back inside just as quick as wink as down the smoke hole old Red Shirt did sink. He was dressed in red buckskins from his head to his foot with beadwork and fringe. He really looked good. A medicine bundle he had by his side on his back, a large bag made of buffalo hide. A headdress he wore as tall as a crown, made of white turkey feathers, all tipped in brown. His skin was as wrinkled as sun-baked earth, but none of these things told of his worth. He spoke not a word, but used sign language instead, and filled all the moccasin with toys and fry bread. And then, like smoke, Rising into the night, he gave me a wink and took to his flight. Up through the smoke hole, into the sleigh, awaken his team with a hearty hoka hey. And I heard him exclaim as they thundered out of sight, Merry Christmas to all my relations and to all a good night.